Yo, what's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another valuable video. In this video, I'm going to talk about something super sweet. It's been going around on the internet, been going around on YouTube ever since the Man is Cell ICT was set, the Silver Bullet 7. Okay, so I'll be talking about that today. I uh, just want to, you know, just reiterate, just kind of, you know, talk about what I see and what I use it for and things like that. You know, I mean, I, pretty much go by the way he talks about it to the team, okay? Um, but before we get started, go join that free telegram. I've been dropping some free charts, free study, flashcards, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Still on the social media fast. Guys, if you message me, I will get back to you soon uh, once I get back on the platforms. Without further ado, let's dive into the meat and potatoes. Let's, let's dive deep. So I'm going to share my screen, okay? And there was a setup today. Now, with the silver bullet hour. Okay, so you got two silver bullet hours. I do not really care about, I'm not even gonna talk about Asian and, and London, okay? I'm trading indices, I'm worried about AM session, I'm worried about PM session, okay? So guys, you can come down here and click your time zone to New York time, whatever you wanna get, whatever you wanna do. I have mine set to Chicago, which is central. Okay, so you can see here, I can toggle on the five minute time frame, and I'm going to carve out the silver bullet hour. So my silver bullet hour is nine o'clock to 10. Okay, which is 11. I mean, I'm sorry, from 10 to 11 in New York time. Okay, now the PM session is one o'clock. to two o'clock my time, okay? Which is two o'clock, three o'clock New York time, okay? So this is the hour that I focus on when I'm looking at a silver trade, okay? But beforehand, before I even think about silver trading, I mean trading, before I even think about, you know, I'm gonna just, I wait for a fair value gap. I'm just gonna wait for the big displacement, and then I'll get in. I don't, I don't do that. Okay. I think the things that are being misunderstood is like you don't have to have a directional bias, and you don't have to have this. You don't have to have your know, narrative, and you can just trade the silver bullet. No, I don't believe that. If you want a better win rate, you want a better outlook on where your trade's headed. And stuff like that i do believe that you need to start from a higher time frame just like you would do any market when you come to the morning and you're looking at your charts you're starting from the higher time frame you know you're you're like okay what's my overall narrative where is my market head, headed where is my market drawn to where is the liquidity okay and once you have that once you have that bias then it's way easier to get into this specific timing one hour box and really narrow down what you're looking for, and then you can execute, right? So, and it's very simple. Once you know that and you get into one hour, right? This one hour box leaves less room for error, right? And then you can make a very educational decision on if you're gonna get into a trade or not, okay? It's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome, okay? So let's start from the day, okay? Let's start from the day. You can clearly see that we have been bullish for a minute, Okay, you can clearly see that we've been chasing, we've been going up. Okay, we just took out some two relative highs right there. We took out this high. Okay, and then we started pulling the, or I'm sorry, this is the weekly time frame. Sorry. You can see that we took these relative equal highs out right here, all liquidity. Okay, and you can see that we pulled into this right here, this fair value gap on the daily time frame. Okay. And you can see at the beginning of the week, these black lines that you see, they're, they're opening week gaps, okay? So let's go down the four hour time frame. I'm gonna go back to the daily. So once we started to shift, and I'll explain why on, on uh, the lower time frame, what did it leave as we were running bullish, okay? We let the daily fair value gap, and you can clearly see that once we shifted, we started chasing this fair value gap, okay? So in my mind, 
if I'm going to trade inside of a day, especially if I'm going to trade inside of a one hour window, I need to know where my market wants to go, right? So four hour, you can clearly see uh, what we're what we're chasing, okay? You can see that we shifted, but I want you to pay attention to the hour, okay? So you can see here at the beginning of the week, here's the opening of the week. What did we do? We accumulated on Monday. We started to manipulate price. You can see what we did, okay? This is the weekly profile. We accumulated, we manipulated. Midweek, we reversed. And where did we end up at the end of the week? Right back to opening price, okay? Opening week, yeah. Okay, so all it did is the power of three, just like we show you, or I show you the, the setup for the day, just like here, okay? Just like here. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Okay, this is all this did. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Okay, power of three on the weekly, Monday through Friday, right here, weekly profile. Okay, so So once I know that, once I know where my direction is headed, you can clearly see that once we topped and we we broke structure, okay? We broke structure, we fell into this fair value gap. This could have been an easy, you know, pull back into a discount and then went right back up because we were chasing things to the upside, okay? But once we started breaking down even further, once we broke this low, I'm like, okay, now I really want to see what we're gonna what we're gonna tap into. You can clearly see here, and we go to the four hour time frame. Um, you have a balanced price range right here, and we were consistently filling this heavy fair value gap. Also, we have this four block right here with a custom with what another daily fair value gap. Okay, this uh, daily four block. So I could put a line here. I don't have to. I know that that is a significant area. You know this consist consistent uh down close candles here and we were to pull into here that'd be totally cool um and you can even do this so from this low to that high we can see that what that we were pulling into what back into equilibrium you can see equilibrium do we go back down here and fill these efficiencies more than likely okay does it have to no okay but my objective for the day is it's like I want to see what the market done. Okay, I want to see how it's reacting. Okay, so you can clearly see right here on the fifteen minute time frame. If our directional bias is bearish, then I'm going to look for bearish setups. Okay, so you can clearly see right here we got silver bullet hours. Okay, so I see right here. We have this low, which is at a PM session low. We have Asian low, okay? And I, and I would want to chase that, okay? So you can see here that as Asian, we were accumulating, accumulating, we manipulated up, okay? We're above midnight price, there's midnight price. And then when equity rolled out, there's equity right there, okay? Okay, we manipulated down, okay? And look what it did as we were falling down. It stopped and made relative equal lows. It did not take the low. That right there registers to me. It's like, okay, we're overall bearish. We stop at the low and make relative equal lows. And, we pull down. and that right there shows me that they're showing the pain. Now I'm going to start dialing in. On the lower time frame and see if I can find my edge, my my entry mark. Okay. So you can clearly see we go to the five minute. Okay. Remember, I wanna, I wanna, I want to uh sell in a premium, right? So you can clearly see in the uh the uh, AM session, okay. So you can clearly see right here. Once equity, we, we swept this high and we just placed that. Okay, we pull back, 
we're not in we're not in um silver board hour yet. So we're not we're not using uh we're not getting an entry level. We can use these fair value gaps outside of the silver board for a point of interest, but we cannot enter it unless we're in the silver board to pull it out. So as you can see, from this high to that low, okay, because this is the high that was the catalyst of breaking these lows. Okay. So if I put my fibs on that swing high to swing low, we are in a we are in a equal loop. Cool, fine. I understand that. But I have this fair value gap and this fair value gap hanging above, okay? With this breaker. Could they have reached there? Yes. Did I have my order there? Yes. Okay. So eventually we end up dropping. Okay. And we never pulled back into the point of interest that I wanted to grab into to sell to what? To go and take out low hanging fruit. Okay. But at the end of the day, this drop, as it was coming back up, this drop was the relative equal low. Okay. So when we started pulling away, I'm like, cool. If we sweep this high and get into this POI, then I'll be, I'll be ready to sell. Okay. So once we got after my trading time, we got into after uh, 10 o'clock my time, I stopped trading in the AM session. Okay. So I'm not taking trades. Okay. I'm not going to take a trade until the AM session. So you clearly see right here and in, in, in the silver board PM, PM session. Okay. So you can see here, look what we did. I, High, we started the relative equal highs all right here. Okay, so we dropped a little bit. We didn't take out the low. Okay, so we run back up and we start taking all this uh, low resistance liquidity out, take out these relative equal highs. Okay, and we pull into that point of interest that I was talking about. Okay, a custom with that breaker here because this high broke this high and then we displaced okay so this was a breaker so you can clearly see we made the high we're not in silver bullet pm session okay so we make the high come down we sweep the high and we displace right into the silver bullet out okay leaving what so you can see here as we break down displace down we break this low and then we pull back and leave this order block and after we displace one more time we leave this fair value gap custom with this order block. And what do we do? We leave an entry, put it at the high, and we take out low hanging fruit. Okay? Perfect entry model, not much drawdown, as you can see, flawless victory of the trade. Okay? Turtle soup, trade setup, 90% trade setup, ABCD pattern, whatever you want to call it. It's perfect. Okay, perfect setup for it to go down, especially at the end of the day. I'm happy with a 1.69 RR, whatever. It's, it was a great trade. Okay, so did I show you? I didn't show you. Oh, let's go to the one minute time frame, mess with the five minute, mess with the three minute, two minute, and we'll just mark out the silver bullet hour. No, I did not. This was a high probability setup. This was going my favor in, from the get go. My directional bias came first. I can give two craps about this hour unless unless I know the narrative. If I don't know where this market's headed, I ain't trading. If it's consolidating, this silver bullet hour doesn't mean nothing to me. You see what I'm saying? So you're just basically shooting yourself in the foot. You're telling yourself, I'm coming to the market every day to trade, right? Regardless of what's fixing to happen, news, whatever. And that's what they're showing. And that's not the way to do that. You're going to shoot yourself in the foot. That's pretty much going to give you break even, right? Because you're going to be accustomed to say, oh, man, we, 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 we fair value gap here, fair value gap here, fair value gap, fair value gap here, fair value gap. It's not all fair value gaps are equal. They're not. The reason why this trade worked out is because we sold in a premium, we understood our bias, and we were chasing low-hanging fruit. That's that's easy stuff, right? When you when you break trades down like that, the TPs hit flawlessly. Okay, and you're patient enough to wait for that. The TPs hit flawlessly. You start passing the challenges, 
right? Flawless. You don't have to, to you know, put the foot up, put the pedal to the metal to pass your challenge. It'll come up, it'll come easy to you. Right? That's the reason why I wanted to really dial in this silver bullet. Is because not every day you're gonna have this most perfect silver bullet trade every single day. It's just not gonna happen. You're still gonna lose trades. But if you're trying to get into a trade in a silver bullet hour without having any narrative, without having any bias, you shoot yourself in the foot. I fully believe that. Even ICT says itself, says itself that it is very vital to have a directional bias, right? The reason why the man says that he can do it every day, he's got 30 years experience. He's got 30 years of experience of this market, the way it moves, how he understands it. Of course, he can come in here and carve out a trade every day. You don't have that. Like he says all the time, you're trying to be some, you're trying to be him with three or four years experience. It ain't gonna happen. Right? So let's let, let's look at one more, uh, especially for this week. Let's look at one more uh, example. I want to do this example here. This is, we were clearly heading towards what? We were manipulating up for the week and then we end up displacing back to the opening price. Okay, so this right here is a power of three trade. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Okay, so let's look at it. We're going to the five minute on the 18th. We understood our direction, right? We understood our direction. We understood our direction. You can clearly see what time is that? 8.30. What did they use equity for? To induce somebody to do something that they weren't going to do. Okay? So they did that. Sweep liquidity, induce sellers, okay? Trap traders, and then they had tearing the market the other way. Okay? Anybody that was selling up here, they got took them out. You can see that they ran through it. No remorse. Went through it like butter. Okay? So let's break that down. Inside that. Okay? There's my silver bullet hour, 9 to 10. Okay? Let's go to the point. Get to it. This is AM session. So what I'm what I'm trying to show you guys is like, look, that's two setups for the week that were perfectly flawless. Okay. And remember, I said you can use the POIs on before uh, the POIs before some happens. You just want to take the entry. Okay. You want to take the entry. So you can clearly see as we displace down. Okay. We manipulate down, we create a low, okay? Come back up and we create a lower low. And then we displace up. You can clearly see what's there. As the silver, like with one, within one minute of the silver bullet starting, okay? It leaves a fair value gap. And as we break structure, this high was the, was the high that was the driver of breaking the slope. So I'm gonna use this high as a break structure. Okay, I already know my narrative I'm going up. Okay, I've got low hanging fruit above, right there, right there, over here. It's all low hanging fruit. Okay, so once we stung into this, okay, typically what I do, you can do either way. Okay, so I you can go from swing swing low to swing high, and use the equilibrium or the sixty two percent to get into the trade. Okay. I seen this fair value gap right here. Okay. So what I did is I put an order at the top and I put an order in the 50% of that fair value gap. Okay. And then I put my stop loss at the end. Now you could have went to the higher time frames. Okay, you could have went to the higher time frames just to see if it had a better a better setup. Okay. 
if if the fair value gap and actually do it. Okay, so you can clearly see as we came down, here's the fair value gap. This candle didn't fill it all the way. Okay, so your order could have been more precise. Okay, and you could have gotten the order here. Your stop loss would have been there. Okay, and you can clearly see false victory. Okay, easy, easy, easy peasy money right there. Inside of the silver bullet, out. Understanding before you even draw this out route of what the narrative is. What did they do here? Did they show their hand? Absolutely. Accumulation, manipulation. Now let's look for the for the setup to the buy side because I want to go take out. I my my market is chasing buy side. Okay. Boom. That's it. Once you have a narrative. This becomes inside this hour becomes easy. Okay, so I just wanted to show that. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Trading is way more than just one hour a day without no bias. I promise you. Okay, you need bias, you need directional bias, you need a narrative. Really focus in on what your market is drawn to, and this right here will become easy. Okay, you just got to be patient for it. So. With that, guys, I hope you got value out of that. Don't forget to get to that uh, free telegram. I've been dropping some charts in there. I want you to study it because it's the exact same trades. These are the exact same trades that my students are taking. Okay. If you want somebody to push you, you want somebody, you want a mentor, you want somebody to hold your hand in this training game, come join the academy. Okay. Yes, it's 497 bucks. But, guys, I'm, I'm get, I, it's a one-time fee. You get to trade with me live every single day, right? You can have a one-on-one -on -one anytime you want to. That's worth way more than 497 bucks. It's a one-time fee. I'm not paying, I'm not making you pay monthly or nothing like that. Okay. And also I'm giving a lot of value here at, on the YouTube channel. Okay. So just study, it. join the free telegram, I'm dropping charts, use them as flashcards. Okay. I will get back on the social media platform soon. Um, if you've reached out to me, I'll reach back out to you. With that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget, don't forget to keep pipping and dipping, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.